What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have the Dark Frost Pontiff Knight build. So let's get through this first duel and we will jump to the build, show you what we respect to and what we're working with. This guy looks like he has a Freed's Great Scythe. We're currently running Pontiff Knight Curved Sword. This thing is a beast. God damn, this guy looks like he's playing unlocked. Let's see if we can hit him with Dark Edge, just missed. You're swinging very, very, uh, violently and randomly. Oh shit, we get hit by two R1s. Just messed with the affinity. It's fine. Oh, we're gonna get both weapon arts off. God damn. What is that? Is that a Kestis I just saw in your hand? He does. He has the parry ability. We have to be careful. But he's, uh, two handing. He's not really posing a threat right now. Unless he switches real quick. Oh, I thought we were going to hit him with that one, but we missed. Hit him with a shiv. Just to irritate him a little more. Nope. Watch, wow, ready? As soon as we get at least two R1s in, he's going to feel the pain. Or we can switch to some of this. He's like, what? Frost damage and dark damage? What is this sorcery? Oh, shit. Oh, how did he not hit us with that? That was weird. And... Oh my god! I thought that was going to drop him, but didn't. Okay, that's fine. Absolutely fine. We're about... We got, I think, two hits. We could take two hits from that. Oh, we get him with... No! I thought he just dropped. I was like, we got him with the distance! Fuck, this dude's not bad, man. And we drop him with an R1. Good game. Holy shit. Let's jump to the build. Alright, so, welcome back, everybody. Today I'm doing a build, um, I've never seen anybody do a build like this be, uh, yet, so let's look, look at the specs. 151, we have 40 for Vigor, 24 for Attunement, Endurance at 39, 21 for Vitality, Strength at 30, Dex is at 30, 40 for Intelligence, Faith at 9, uh, 7 for Luck, 4 Attunement slots. We are hitting for 367 with the Pontiff Knife, Curd Sword plus 5, so pretty decent. Murky Longstaff plus 10 for our casting, Dark Mask. Pontiff Knight Armor, Carless Gloves, and Dark Leggings for our Fashion Souls. I think it looks like a pretty sweet, dark version, uh, evil-looking version of a Pontiff Knight. I think about sick. We have Bellowing Dragon Crest Ring, Greatly Bruised Sorceries. We have the Young Dragon Ring for boosting sorceries. We have the Sage Ring plus two for shortened spell casting time. And Life Ring plus three raises our HP. So, it is going to be quite a good time. We have the Dark Edge. We have Deep Soul. We're bringing along Affinity, and Great Soul Dregs, and then also we have the Frost Damage of the Weapon Art from the Pontiff Knife Curved Sword. This right here. Alright guys, if you end up liking today's video, let me know by leaving a thumbs up before you go. Dislike button is right next to it if you end up not liking it. Let's do this shit. So this build, man, um, is, like I said, quite a unique combination of things. Um, I don't think I've ever seen someone run in, like, some frost things with dark combined together. Um, I think it's actually pretty cool, though. The, actually, the color contrast in itself is pretty badass, you know what I mean? You go from that dark purple to that light blue like that. Um, but the things... Oh, we're gonna get a critical for 561! God damn, that's one thing about the Pontiff Knight Crystal, guys. Uh, it takes stamina down quite a bit. Um, you'll see if someone... This guy, what is, what is that? What shield is that? I'm not sure of the shield, but... Oh, we get him with the reach. It's over. But the stamina consumption is fucked. So if you have someone that's trying to, like, turtle up on you with anything, then, like, a, uh, you know... What is that? The shield of loathing? Or, no, the moaning shield. I'm sorry. Then, uh, you'll be able to take it down quite easily and get through it. And as you just saw, it gives you quite a room. A little bit of a boss. Oh, we just missed with all that, dude. But anyways, the uh, sorceries I'm bringing along that go along with this, man. This this build is just pretty sick. For one, you can almost outspace almost every single weapon, man, with the weapon art of this blade. It's so funny because the weapon, as you can see, is quite short if you're going in with just art ones. But then, when you pull out the weapon art itself, look at that. Look how far away he was and we hit him at the end of that for 141 damage. Not crazy damage, but that's absolutely okay. Dark Edge we brought along with us because it is a great roll catch, man, and also it is long as shit, so you can outspace people with that as well. 
Um, the Deep Soul, you can kind of just fire off, dude. They fire so fast. And they do like 150 to 200 damage, man. So it's not bad. And you can just shoot so many of them. Um, also, we have Great Soul Dregs because it hits quite hard. And if you fire close up, it's kind of hard to dodge. If you fire far away, it starts traveling very fast. And it's also not that easy to dodge. But the Pontiff Knight Curve Sword in itself with the Frost Damage, it's just... It's one of... Since the, the change to the Double Weapon Art, it's one of my favorite, uh... You know, short swords in the game for sure, man. And the damage you get too from, you know, just R1s in itself is pretty decent. It's not bad, man. You can uh, mess someone up pretty fast. This guy has a spike mace. We're just too fast for him, man. All we have to do is really just get him to bait one more R1, keep our distance, and do this. Boom, weapon art. Oh, God. I ran out of stamina so he couldn't get the second one, but that's fine. You know, but uh, if you're fighting someone, dude, with this weapon and or this build, and they're and they're uh, and their playstyle is throwing out whips like that, you'll be able to punish them big time, dude, with this weapon. It's just silly. It really is. Like the length of the weapon art is freaking insane. The spike mace is absolutely great, though. Spike mace hurts. The bleed on it is crazy high. Big chunks of bleed, and we're gonna end up with an R1. Good game. Good game, Sam. God damn, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel, man. If you're into this type of stuff, seeing builds like this and such, definitely subscribe before you go. Like I said, I was thinking about something, uh, I wanted to try to do something that I've really never seen. I mean, since the, uh, Angel of Death build, I don't ever see someone using, you know, that much into one, and then also, the, you know, Frost in the Dark. Oh, dude, we got good damage right there. Not too bad! This guy's fucking dangerous. What is he using? Uh, that is the Godhard Twin Swords. Godhard Games, you say? It's Gothard. I know, I like to call him Godhard Twin Swords. He has them buffed with lightning weapon. The Crusader! But this build again, man, it gives you a lot of options. You know what I mean? You don't have to stay focused on one thing. You can if you'd like. If not, you have those other tools to whip out if you need to. Um, I love keeping Dark Edge ready, man, because... It just, it really does great damage, like I said, it really does. It's just a nice hello surprise! The affinity is also great, you know, it's kind of that, uh, lazy man's attack. Kind of just homes on your people. Sometimes, dude, you will see the affinity. Literally, I've seen them do crazy fucking things before. Sometimes they just miss and go on their way. But sometimes, dude, they will do, oh my god, look at our health, guys. I don't think we're gonna be winning this one. But sometimes you see them just go on their, oh, and we get dropped, go on their way, and then sometimes they'll fucking 360 to come back. Good game, man. We got dropped, god damn. So I know we could also incorporate more frost into the build if you'd like. And you know, like you could bring what, snap freeze, um, what else is there for fucking frost? Not for a brain fart right now, but I know you can try to do other things. Or you could bring weapons and buff them with frozen weapon. Or you can do what I'm doing right now and use a weapon that has, you know, the inherent frost damage to it. This guy, he's like, no! The weapon art looks so fucking sweet. I love it. Someone using profane flame, dude. You guys just saw that. I never fight anybody using that spell. And you know the reason being, dude? It's just, you know, it's for a PvE spell, it's great when you're fighting things that aren't really moving. You know, profane flame is fucking awesome. But if you're fighting something that's fucking has the ability to just even walk, you're not going to get really hit by that, dude. You know, try using that spell on a pack of dogs in the base game in PvE and watch what they do to you, you know what I mean? Like, they'll never get hit by it. But, it's a cool spell nonetheless. I wish they would've, you know, if it was faster, it would be fucking more viable. Oh, you just saw that shit, dude! The affinities just came all the way back around and we're gonna drop them with a couple R1s, man. Good game. But... I think it would be cool, like, too, if you, uh, you know, ran this build with, like, say, a, uh, you know, any type of buffable weapon. Use Frozen Weapon, you know, you can bring Snap Freeze along with you as well. Oh! I mean, you could use, uh, the Crystal Ice Breath, I guess. Since it is, like, kind of an ice spell. I don't think, I think that's just sorcery damage, but I mean, it still looks like it will fit the part. It just won't be giving you the damage type that you're looking for. What the fuck is this guy using? Is that a bike? <laughs> I don't think it is. What is that? I can't tell because of the buff on the tip. Sir, could you remove your buff? 
so I can see your weapon. Please take that shit. If you ever hit anybody, dude, with the affinity and the great soul drag combo, I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, it fucking destroys health. Look at this piece of shit. Oh, he put on the vow of silence. I have never seen anybody use that shit ever, dude. Good stuff. I'm giving this guy super fucking props. Like, he's, he carries that on his build. Good stuff. Look at my guy. No! He likes it. He likes it. Oh, it's gone. Take that shit. Good game. 93 damage to drop him. That was tight. I legit never see anybody use that shit. <clears throat> but it is quite the good tool, you know, against someone who has casting abilities such as us. But it's absolutely fine if they do it. I wonder, does that make the we Oh, look at this guy. He's using the uh, Moonlight Sickle. The Moon Sickle! Oh, shit! I want to use that weapon. I don't even know if I have that weapon. Where the fuck do you get it? I'll have to look it up. Uh, look at his name. Looks like it's like loading in his name, but it's not. His name is just loading. Dot, dot, dot. That's fucking... That's hilarious, guy! Holy shit! Oh, switching weapons. He doesn't like our sorcery power. Oh, did we get him with any of Did we get him with any He just dodged all Oh, we got him with the last one for 659, dude. That is fucking not bad damage for a great soul drag. Not at all. And it's over. Let me bow to him. I will say goodbye before I say goodbye. Look, that made him angry. It's like, fuck you, man. It's not over before it's over. Look at our health. We have a fucking full health bar still, dude. It's over. You're about one hit away from death. Just accept your fate. He's like, I'm never gonna accept my fate, man. Maybe your name will load in by the end of the match. Ah, and it's over. I didn't get a perfect, you fucker. He hit us when we killed him. Good game. He was a worthy opponent, yeah. So, uh, let me guys, let me know in the comments down below, guys, if you've ever seen a uh, you know a dark frost build such as this one. Um, I really never have. Oh shit! This guy has perseverance. Deuce Vult. Oh, fun fact for you guys. This guy right here, I uh, fought before I started recording for this video, and he ended up uh, winning, and he was a huge dick about it. So hopefully we beat him this time. And uh, instead of pointing down, guess what we're going to do? We're going to point up. Because this guy pointed down at me like 18 times. Oh, your perseverance, man. It's so fucking good. Just let me tell you. It's great. Fucking eat that shit. Yeah, it's over, motherfucker. Look at him. He's pissed. He's like, no. I was such a dick to this guy before, and now he's going to beat me. Don't worry, man. Here you go. I'm going to point up. Fucking great game, guy. Ah, he's gonna be pissed. He pointed down on me and we pointed it up on him. Fucking asshole. Ooh! <gasps> it's a Gundergale! Oh shit! It's a fucking Gundergale, dude! Look at this shit! Oh my god! I wonder if he knows. Oh, he switched his weapon. Why would you switch your weapon, dude? It's a fucking Gundergale, dude. I, w I wonder if he got that for me or if, uh. Or if it's a huge fucking coincidence. No way, I'm about to take down the Gundergale. It can't be a Gundergale. He can't be statted the way I was. No way. There's no way I would be doing that much damage to him. That's fucking awesome, dude. The first Gundergale I've seen in the wild, yes. <laughs> That's crazy shit. And we're gonna catch him with the dark edge as he's running away. Good game, Mr. Gundergale. Oh shit. That was fucking sick. I'm curious if any of you, if, if any of you seen the uh, Gunner Gale build that I did. That's that's still my favorite build to use. Um, I'm thinking I was gonna do a video with him today, but I decided to create this instead. But um, you know, have any of you created your own versions of Gunner Gale? And if and if you have, uh, you know, how does your experience go with it? Because basically, Gunner Gale is a you know a poise tank with Gale's great sword and the repeating crossbows. You know, like uh, to complement it, and it's just a crazy fucking build, dude. Because the damage put out by the weapon itself is crazy, but then you have the crossbow to, like, kind of hit them in between, dude. And the crossbow hits for itself. The single bolts hit for almost 200 damage. Oh, we hit him with a great soul dragon. If you throw the uh, stream out, it's over. Drop him with a uh, deep soul. Good game, man. We're going to get awesome. I love it. I love it. Yes. What the hell do we have here? 
Alright, there's a lot of people using shields in the uh, arena lately. We're gonna fuck him up. Oh, look at that! Two shield breaks. Why would he try to block again with no stamina? Jesus, dude. We fucked him up real quick. And it's over. Good game. Didn't even have to use any dark powers. Damn! That's a goddamn games! Goddamn! Shit. So as you guys can clearly see, this build is crazy, uh... Crazy powerful, man. It's destructive. You can absolutely tear people down with it. Um, you know, you can keep your opponent at a distance if you want. If they want to come up close and personal, dude, then you have the ability to also drop them fucking up close and personal. You know what I mean? It's just, it's up to your opponent the distance they pick to die at. You know what I mean? That's, you can fucking kill them no matter where they are with this build. And that's something I always like having as well. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Let me say that one more fucking time. Just kidding. All right, we're going to make this the last fight of the video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, man. I think the Dark Frost Pontiff Knight build is actually pretty goddamn awesome. So what do you guys think? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see if we can end this video with a window. Shit, dude. One of those, we would have been done, and we dropped him. You fell victim, son. I'll see you next time. All right, guys. Enjoy the day. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.